When I was at Rape Clark's last summer having a conversation with Christine Jones, um, there were a number of, of other very inspiring people there as well. Walter Goldstein was there. Uh, James White was there. And there's this one topic of conversation that came up that uh, in some ways wasn't a surprise, but still the, the implications gave me a lot to think about. And in this conversation, uh, Dr. White made the comment that a corn seed contains between seven and uh, if I remember correctly, it was between seven and nine billion microorganisms. So we have a corn seed that is loaded with all of these tiny, uh, we know there's uh, bacterial endophytes, there's uh, fungal endophytes, and uh, there are microalgae, algae endophytes as well. Um, perhaps I, I would expect, it's, it's reasonable for us to expect that we'll discover more as time goes on. So all of a sudden, what this means is we need to begin thinking about our seeds as vectors of microbial communities. We need to begin thinking about seeds as microbial inoculants. So if we want to build a diverse and robust soil microbiome that is disease suppressive, that increases nutrient availability, that has all these uh, beneficial effects, the best way to accomplish that is to plant seeds from diverse different plant families. So here I, I illustrated a corn seed, but if you have um, grasses, such as small grains, let's say, um, there, it's reasonable to expect that there's going to be some microbiome overlap between a rye seed and a wheat seed, for example, perhaps significant overlap. We're about to find out here this coming year. Um, but you can expect to have a very different microbiome between a small grain and between a plant in the rose family or in the days family. So when you, when you combine cover crops from very different families. You include flax and you include safflower and you include some of the more unusual cover crops. You're going to end up with a much more diverse microbiome that is much more resilient and is much more effective at delivering nutrients to plants in all kinds of challenging conditions, nutrients and water. So one of the foundational pieces as we think about developing our soils and soil microbiomes going forward is we have to look at having a diversity of plant species so that we have uh, from different families so that we have a diversity of microbiome that has greater inherent resilience.